Well, I kind of gave things a little bit of a general cleanup. Uh, it's probably too late in the day to start putting that Ford back together, but I could uh, I could pull that Volkswagen up. You know, I started this engine back here is an engine that Dead Eye Dan gave me oh a long time ago, and it had been sitting out in the rain and gotten full of water, and it was all stuck together, and I couldn't get the heads off, and I strung it up and pulled it against itself, and one of the heads popped off a while back. And I was thinking, well, if I could set it up right, maybe flip it over and put a chain on, wrap a chain around the block from the other side and uh, kind of get some upward pressure on the motor and some downward pressure on that other head. And I could pull that apart. And then once I got that apart, I could dump the whole engine over in my parts cleaner here. And that could be soaking. And maybe eventually I could get it apart. Uh, I'd also like to crank both of my generators and put a little uh, stable in the gas. Uh, and for the winter time, this one and that one, and uh, I suppose I could do that. Pull this up, rearrange that motor, set it up to uh, see if we can pull it apart. Put some gas treatment in both those generators, maybe crank them both and run them a little bit with the gas treatment in there, and such as that. Maybe I'll do that right quick. That shouldn't take me. Besides that, it's always kind of fun to crank the old bug wagon and every so often I feel like I should crank it and move it around. I don't think it does it any good to just have to sit back there all the time. I'm, that's going to be a project that I'll be getting back around to this winter. I want to get the Ford done. When I say done, I want to get it uh, running again. And I might do some other work on it before the cold sets in. But then I'm going to go back and work on this one pretty soon. Alrighty, let's see what we do with that motor. 